international plutonomy, as the Manx like to call it, with a small percentage of the world's population that's gathering increasing wealth. What happens to American consumers of much less concern? Because most of them aren't going to be consuming your products anyway, at least on a major basis. Your goals are profit in the next quarter, even if, if it's based on financial manipulation. Uh, high salary, high bonuses, produce overseas if you have to, uh, and produce for the uh, wealthy classes here and uh, their counterparts abroad. What about the rest? Well, there's a term coming into use for them too. Uh, they're called the precariat, precarious proletariat, uh, the working people of the world who live increasingly precarious lives. And it's related to the attitude toward the country altogether. You started getting the huge increase in the flows of speculative capital, just astronomically increased. Enormous changes in the financial sector from traditional banks to risky investments complex uh, financial instruments, uh, money manipulations, and so on. Increasingly, the uh, business of the country isn't production, at least not here. The primary business here is business. Uh, you can even see it in the choice of directors. So uh, a director of a major American corporation back in the 50s and the 60s was very likely to be an engineer, somebody who graduated from a place like MIT, maybe industrial management. More recently, the directorship and the top managerial positions are people who came out of business schools, learned financial uh, trickery of various kinds, and so on. By the 1970s, say General Electric, could make more profit playing games with money than you could by producing in the United States. You have to remember that General Electric is substantially a financial institution today. It makes half its profits just by moving money around in complicated ways. And it's very unclear that they're doing anything that's of value to the economy. So that's one phenomenon, what's called financialization of the economy. 50s and 60s say there was a, a, the biggest growth period in uh, uh, American economic history. The golden age. It was pretty egalitarian growth, so the, the, the lowest a fifth of the population was improving about as much as the upper fifth. And there were some welfare state measures which uh, improved life for much of the population. It was, for example, possible for a, uh, a, a black worker to get a decent job in an auto plant, uh, buy a home, get a car. Epidarity is quite dangerous. And from the point of view of the masters, you're only supposed to care about yourself and not about other people. This is quite different from the pe people they claim are their heroes, like Adam Smith who based his whole approach to the economy on the principle that sympathy is a fundamental human trait. But that has to be driven out of people's heads. Uh, you got to be for yourself, follow the wild maxim, don't care about others, uh, which is okay for the rich and powerful, uh, but is devastating for everyone else.